Hi, this is Lynn McCool. Welcome to week 13, How to Present Effectively. So this week we actually, with the course content, began looking at what you'll do next after you have turned in your Assignment 6, which is to create a presentation over the Assignment 6 process. And I don't want to get into that particular next assignment as far as explaining it here in this screencast, but you can go out and read that for yourself so that you have an idea of what you'll be working on and getting ready to turn in when you come back from Thanksgiving break. So we're going to begin working on it this week. You can see that the course content includes reading a chapter from your course text, chapter 17, presentations and briefings, and then I have a series of videos for you to take a look at. The first two are, are just a humorous way of reminding you that usually with PowerPoint slides less is more and you want to make your slides count and you also want to avoid either cliched expressions on your slides or cliched images on your slides and so just take a look at those. Then this one is a screencast that I put together on creating good PowerPoint presentations. I give you some tips on how to lay out your slides, how you can use document design in your slide design so that you can have an effective presentation. And then finally, I put up this little tutorial link on Prezi. So perhaps your team would like to experiment using Prezi instead of PowerPoint or Google Slides. And so that's an alternative there if you're interested in using that. Activities this week include Learn Smart, as usual. Uh, this week you do not have a discussion board. Instead, your Cybox peer review activity is taking the place of that discussion board. And I went out and took a look at Cybox and I was pleased to see that um, many of the teams have, have already begun the peer review process, so good work with that. I want you to continue on with that and remember that even though you're filling out the rubric, you also need to provide a few comments as to why you filled out the rubric the way that you did. And you can place those comments either at the end of the rubric or you can create a separate box note and write your comments in there. It's really up to you as a team. The other thing I want you to remember is that the peer review process should be a team collaborative peer review. In other words, you're getting together with your team members and you're discussing together what you're seeing in that other team's document and then coming to con a consensus and, and uh, filling out that rubric and writing up the review and then submitting it. Now, with that being said, even though I want it to be a team collaborative activity, you can, you can divide up the work. In other words, uh, there are 10 different teams that you'll be reviewing, so you could divide that up among yourselves if you have three or four members on your team so that each person is taking approximately two or three teams and then that person is responsible for you know, actually maybe filling out the rubric, typing in the comments, and uploading it to um, the, the various folder spaces there. So you can divide up the work. It, the work doesn't have to all fall on the shoulders of the project lead or the team lead. Um, and it, again, should be a team collaborative project. So make sure with the peer reviews that everyone on the team is participating and collaborating. Notice that there's a date change. So this is due, the peer reviews are due by the end of the day on Tuesday. Now we're on kind of a time crunch as far as deadlines this week because of Thanksgiving break. And so that's why there are some differences in how we are turning things in this week. Then you can see here on this row that I have what is called an individual survey reflection and that this is going to be due Thursday night at 11.59 p.m. And you can see I say notice date and time change. That link isn't active yet. It will be active later today. It would be better if you could fill out the individual survey after you finish the peer review. If, however, your schedule doesn't permit you to do that, in other words, you need to get everything done either today or early tomorrow, go ahead and fill it out whenever you can. But um, please try to have that individual survey reflection filled in and submitted by Thursday end of the day. Again, notice the date and time change. This is a little bit different than what we normally do, but again, it's because of the Thanksgiving break that's coming up. Then your assignment six is due, uploaded to Blackboard for my review, for, for me to take a look at and give you an initial grade. That is due 
end of the day on Friday. Again, well actually Friday at 6 p.m., not end of the day. I'm assuming that many of you are going to be leaving to go back home or to visit other family or friends or relatives over the Thanksgiving break. So this assignment is due before you leave on break, which is why I have the 6 p.m. deadline here. I'm assuming that no one's going to really want to work on this while you are on break and you should you should take a break on break. So, um, so get that uploaded before you leave on break, no later than 6 p.m. on Friday. Again, this is a little bit different time frame than what we normally do, but it is because of Thanksgiving break. Then the next thing that you need to know is when you come back from break, you will be working on finishing up and submitting your oral presentation of your assignment six. So this is actually assignment eight. Oral presentations are actually assignment eight. You can read about that on Blackboard in the course content area there. Um, that will be uploaded, screencasted and uploaded um, by Sunday at the end of the day like we normally do. Um, and then there will be this peer evaluation form that also will be uploaded and due by Sunday at the end of the day. So the week that you come back after Thanksgiving break, you have the presentation to work on. You have a little peer evaluation form to fill out. It's a little bit lighter week other than the fact that that you are working on that presentation and uploading that. Okay, if you have any questions about week 13 or the upcoming week after Thanksgiving break, don't hesitate to contact me. For this week though, focus in, get the peer reviews done. Um, please fill out this individual survey reflection, which that link will be coming out to you here just within um, a little bit. and. Um, or, if, or if you're receiving this later, if you're opening your mail later in the day, you probably should already have it in your email. So please get that filled out for me. And then your assignment six is due before you leave on break, so no later than Friday at 6 p.m. Talk to you soon. Thanks.